Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and you are watching Share and Learn with Jatin Hope so you are doing well and safe. So first of all I would like to say you that uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel and uh, press the bell icon so that you can get the all notifications related to this channel and uh, share this video and provide maximum to maximum raise to all students who have appeared in the uh, term of December 2021 of the examination uh, whether for uh, CMA intermediate or for CMA final. So now uh, in today's video I am discussing with you here for the answer sheet of paper number paper number 13 of uh, CMA final group 3 that is corporate law and compliance right so uh, as of now I think uh, you are uh, in situation like that why because uh, everybody is uh, interested to know that uh, uh, everybody is interested to know that the what uh, which kind of question or what level of question was asked in the examination of uh, December 2021 term uh, since it's not released by the Institute of Cost Accountants of India on its uh, official website. So here I have uh, applied for the uh, answer for certified photocopy of uh, answer script of uh, this paper as well. So they provided me and uh, yeah so with that uh, PDF I am discussing with you uh, this paper. So please uh, share uh, share the, this video and provide maximum to maximum reach. Subscribe my YouTube channel and join my Telegram uh, Telegram so that uh, Telegram group right and link of that I will be giving you in the description box. And like the video because you do not like uh, video, just you uh, watch video and whatever you do. But please and please like the video and comment your view as well. Uh, about that uh, which kind of topic you are asking me for making the video or which kind of basically uh, advice or any kind of query you have just comment uh, in the comment box that will be uh, helpful for me and that will be appreciate appre as appreciation for me right so yeah uh, so this is the paper that is uh, paper number 13 of uh, corporate law and compliance so I got basically 31 marks in the answer sheet uh, but in the result they have uh, allotted 36 marks. I don't know what is the reason uh, behind this gap of uh, 5 marks because uh, we also know the student who have appeared in January 2021 term of examination and was not able to qualify his or her CMA final due to the marks which he or she got that is 39. And just because of law or just because of 13 marks, he has waited for uh, one year and appeared in December 2021 term of examination and maybe he has passed or uh, not passed. But yeah, if institute can wait you, can uh, can stop you for one marks, then why institute is uh, having the this kind of gap? Please uh, and please uh, uh, share the this video so that every uh, every member of the institute and every kind every st student fraternity of the institute and this course basically uh, can have the look on that that why this is this gap is coming right so so this was the paper which was uh, on 8th of Feb December 2021 that is corporate law and compliance and you can check uh, and I will give you the link of uh, this paper in the description box so that you can use it for your reference for your upcoming examination and you can do better uh, by taking base of last examination because pattern is going to be same right pattern is going to be same but yeah it's uh, it's uh, you can say the uh, mm, that uh, somebody is saying that uh, uh, there will would be modification in section B that is of filling the blanks of 20 question and 20 marks. So uh, right now uh, no updated uh, no notification or no any, any kind of official update uh, is there for with their, with this regard. But yeah, last examination was the base or you can say was the the uh, you can say the base right for on which uh, you can take your uh, you can carry your preparation so section a basically takes 20 marks yeah, before that i will give you this uh, yes so section a is of uh, your section a contains 20 question right so number of question section a contains 20 questions 
and uh, each question is of uh, mcq category right so just you need to select the correct choice alter given in the given four cho four choice just you need to select the one choice right and if it is uh, correct then you will get the one mark right so 20 marks uh, will contain uh, in will be there in section a that is of maximum marks of 20 now section b also contains uh, 20 questions of fill in the blanks you may be you may have to enter uh, one line two line three line or just a numerical value in case of practical practical question right so it also contains 20 question uh, and 20 marks now section c section c uh, is going to be play uh, uh, very important role because it consists long term uh, long question as well as short note so long question is basically uh, like descriptive type question like case study based question right so any kind of question which is uh, related to law that may be a theoretical paper as so, so this is a theoretical paper and you will have you will also see the short note as well so total six question will be there but out of six question you have to just attempt uh, to, uh, four question and each question is going to be for 12 marks and uh, six all questions may have different sub parts right for one question has a three parts of a, like four marks four marks four marks right so this is around 12 marks so this kind of breakup you can see in the examination and you can also see in this in this examination so uh, 48 marks is going to be maximum marks right in section d section d is go is your uh, case study based question uh, since uh, right so it is it is going to cover your 12 marks out of 100 marks so maximum marks is your 100 and uh, marks allotted in this uh, answer sheet is uh, is going to be 31 like 12 question 12 marks is allotted in section a and 10 marks is allotted in section b so you can see that 40 marks is going to be the very and very crucial and important part of the online uh, uh, empty online based examination because 40 marks is not is going to be a free within 30 minutes or within 20 minutes if you have covered uh, lots of uh, revision and lots of uh, conceptual study and logical study so then you can also uh, then you are you are be allowed to uh, get 40 out of uh, maybe a 30 or 35 plus you can get easily but for that uh, achieving the 35 out of 40 marks or 30 marks out of 40 you have to do very hard work and smart work as well now 9 marks they have allotted in section C only and uh, section D 0 so now total is comes to 31 so this was the paper uh, pattern which I have discussed with you right now so this is the question uh, but I will say you that please and please do not follow or prioritize your weightage of these uh, chapters right do not study uh, by taking in mind the weightage of the uh, syllabus which is mentioned on the first page of the exam first page of the study material of, of every subject because they are not following any kind of weightage so it is advisable to do everything to do 100% of the syllabus uh, yeah you can uh, set priority but it should not be that the which has a less priority you you are going to ignore or miss uh, ignore or skip that part of the uh, syllabus so just you need to uh, get basically do 100% of your syllabus right and CMA course is not like that that you are going to cover all the uh, law and ethics on and like paper number 6 and law and corporate law and complex paper number 13 in just uh, one or two months no it it basically takes so much time because it's not a plain English right law is all about interpretation and interpretation is uh, is basically very important and crucial part of the law paper so this was the question number one right of section A so it is asking about the GDR right so this type of question has come to you like public deposit cannot exceed so here they have allotted one marks right now in law paper they have also asked about the general question like which is not the part of your syllabus but we have to keep it keep it with that because uh, they they may be they may have the argument that you are studying law and you must be aware about the general knowledge right suppose they have asked that uh, Delhi government like yes metro is uh, which form of enterprise so the correct answer they have mentioned triple p right so 
this is this uh, no 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 this is was the government company right uh, no uh, yeah we need to understand that uh, what does it denotes red mark and what does it denotes uh, green marked so green marked basically means that the correct answer as per the institute and the uh, uh, they have mentioned the chosen option chosen option that is one that is opted by the institute uh, by the student and but correct question is uh, correct answer is uh, two that is marked with the green color and so that is why uh, it has uh, zero marks right so this is all about your uh, paper so you can uh, check in detail basically right so they have allotted wherever uh, wherever student has um, done correct answer right but yeah this kind of question uh, has been asked by the institute which i was um, talking to you that uh, what is the basically full form of the rtgs that is real time gross settlement so so definitely they have awarded one marks so suppose if uh, the answer has only no uh, that is an o that you are going to uh, uh, get one marks as full because your, your answer is no your uh, answer is no and the actual answer is no right so you are not going to present any kind of uh, two or three point with uh, the explanation they just need that state whether the llp act 2008 provides any facility for conversion of llp into a private limited company so the answer is no then you just you need to mention the no just you are do not need to because they have mentioned state whether whether yes or no that you are going to uh, give the answer so important point is that whether it is of theoretical paper whether it is of practical paper just uh, focus on the co on the question because uh, understanding the question is very important uh, writing the answer is not important question and because uh, understanding the question is very important because if you have not understand it the question then how will you present the answer because uh, somewhere uh, somewhere you have the question which is uh, not understand it by you so in that situation what you are going to do if you have some time then you are going to just write down but from this uh, what nothing will be happen because you are not going to get any kind of marks right so that is also being made observed by the institute because uh, it's a professional examination it's not the like uh, any kind of examination right so it is advisable to do everything 100% uh, of your syllabus so just you can uh, get this paper the link of uh, this paper is given in the description box right and please share the video and please subscribe my youtube channel so that you can get the uh, you can get all papers related to uh, cma intro final uh, i will be up uploading soon uh, soon means that uh, when i will whenever i will get the paper then i will upload so now you have the question uh, you may have the question that yeah i have discussed this point that uh, five marks difference is there so five to ten marks you can uh, have the differences as well uh, so you have to consider that if you are attempting uh, 90 marks but it's not necessary that you are going to attempt uh, uh, get 80, 80, 80 plus because 10 marks is your uh, uh, deviation right so uh, the important point is that along with the old discussion working sheet that is rough sheet provided at examination hall the working sheet whatever you have uh, provided that was that is of uh, eight eight pages or ten pages or whatever it pages you have used uh, for the writing the examination and for typing the examination so that working sheet is not provided you along with your answer sheet uh, on email so, right so whatever application has been made by the candidate uh, for taking for um, uh, getting the answer sheet of or you may call the certified photocopy of answer sheet that is not provided by the institute but answer but only answer sheet is provided rough sheet is not provided but you may have the situ uh, you may have the uh, situation that if you have applied for from the institute website then you have you may or may not have the answer sheet uh, working sheet because uh, i did not apply from that uh, website i applied only from the RTI website that is RTI online dot RTI online dot gov dot in if you uh, want to know the detailed uh, video on that how to apply for certified photocopy of answer script or answer sheet 
through RTI Act, then please comment yes in the comment box. And uh, I will be uploading maybe uh, maybe today itself uh, that video that how to apply uh, answer sheet for through RTI Act, right? And it is it is basically uh, very interested in benefit to apply from the RTI that is uh, Government of India website. Because it charges only 10 rupees only and in rupees 10 if you have appeared for uh, 8, the 8 examination, 8 papers then you are going to get your answer sheet uh, in rupees 10 only right but if you have applied from the Institute of Post Accountants of India then the charge is going to be rupees 250 or 500 whatever it may be I, I am not aware about that I am not exactly recalling the figure so and that 250 or 500 is your per Per subject right suppose you have you are applying for the eight paper then the total amount is going to be uh, 4000 as per the 8 500 or 250 as per the uh, your uh, 2000 right so this is it uh, for this now what next if you have uh, not uh, qualified or if you have not uh, basically passed in the law paper so as per my opinion, as per my analysis, uh, what you should do basically, the strategy for law paper. Now the very important point is that when you study from the uh, faculty, if suppose uh, there are kind of two, two categories of uh, student, the first category of student that who has studied uh, his law paper or his any kind of paper, uh, whatever it may be the theoretical paper, the practical paper, one student may be who is studying from uh, from the faculty or from the private coaching who is paying to someone and the second person is going to be that who is doing his self-study right suppose that uh, he or she is taking some video uh, some, some uh, watching some videos on YouTube and doing rest part of the syllabus is from self so both the in both the situation you must and you must make short notes because law paper is not going to be the practical right law paper is going to be the theoretical paper so for paper like law that is theoretical paper right so for that paper uh, we have uh, around more than 500 or 1000 pages of book which we need to study while our study uh, study session or study um, time so that is not going to be revised by the candidate or the student before the examination because 1000 pages are no are are so much a big deal but if you make the short notes and short short notes must be yourself of yourself not of your teacher because uh, yeah teacher short note is very helpful uh, as per their uh, experience and analysis but because uh, if we have the uh, common uh, ma common uh, like perception that uh, our if if we if we do the if we check the our notes our notes which we have prepared ourselves then it is uh, very catchable right you can catch your words uh, during your examination so make your short notes uh, which is uh, your handwritten which is easily which can be easily uh, understandable or rememberable uh, remember right so second point is the, that do practical uh, question or case study based question uh, section wise Suppose you are for this uh, for the understanding this point that is a B point. I will take some uh, example. Suppose uh, this is the chapter which is a uh, oh, chapter number nine of Companies Act 2013, and it talks about the companies accounts and uh, companies accounts basically, right? Now this chapter uh, contains section 128 to section 138, uh, right? And section 139 to 148 is uh, is, uh, is contained in chapter number 10. That is your uh, company's audit and auditors, right? Audit and auditors. So suppose I I uh, read the section 128 subsection 1. So there are multiple pages uh, before uh, in in with my hand to study that section. But in the examination, while the examination or before the examination, you are not going to have the uh, so much notes because you need only the short short notes or crux notes that can only be uh, recall by the student right so so that is why uh, please make the short notes like i have made notes uh, suppose uh, this is saying that every company prepare shall uh, shall prepare 
एड बी ओ ए बनाना है ओ आर बी पी बनाना है एफ एस बनाना है एंड सबसेक्शन भी आप उसमें मैंशन कर सकते हो राइट right? जैसे कि फॉर एवरी फाइनेंशियल ईयर सो ईच लॉ इज अबाउट इंटरप्रिटेशन एंड यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द एवरी ईच एंड एवरी मीनिंग ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट लाइक बी ओ ए वट इज बी ओ ए वट इज ओ आर बी पी वट इज एफ एस एंड वट इज एफ एफ वाई राइट सो एंड ये उसके बाद में इसमें बोला गया बोला गया है कि बेसिकली हर कंपनी को तीन चीज़ें बनानी हैं बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट ओ आर बी पी ओ आर बी पी का मतलब होता है अदर अदर बुक्स एंड पेपर या अदर रेलिवेंट बुक्स एंड पेपर राइट और बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट मतलब बी ओ ए तो ये सेक्शन टू प्लस थर्टीन में दिया गया है ये सेक्शन टू प्लस ट्वेल्व में दिया गया है और फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट हमारा टू प्लस फोर्टी में दिया गया है और फाइनेंशियल ईयर हमारा टू प्लस फोर्टीन वन में दिया गया है आई इट मे बी द पॉसिबिलिटी दैट स्टूडेंट इज नॉट गोइंग इन डिटेल बट यू आर स्टडिंग लॉ राइट एंड यू आर स्टडिंग लॉ इन योर फाइनल एग्जामिनेशन और इंटर एग्जामिनेशन एट वंस इन योर लाइफ सो दैट इज वाई एज पर माई अप्रोच और माई एक्सपीरियंस माई ओपिनियन यू शुड स्टडी लॉ एंड एथिक्स और एनी काइंड ऑफ पेपर और सब्जेक्ट दैट इज मे बी थियोरिटिकल प्रैक्टिकल इन कंसेप्ट एंड इन डिटेल सो दैट बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग टू मेक बी अ प्रोफेशनल नॉट नॉट एनी काइंड ऑफ अ कैंडिडेट हु हैज जस्ट कम्पलीटेड हिज कोर्स यू आर गोइंग टू बी अ प्रोफेशनल एंड यू जस्ट मस्ट बी अवेयर अबाउट ऑल द टर्म्स एंड कंडीशंस टर्म्स बेसिकली मैंशन इन द एक्ट so they have mentioned on the basis of accrual on the double entry system they must follow true and fair views it must be there if there is an a branch in a company then company will also prepare the accounts of branch as well and explaining the transaction affected at the branch office so this is just a reference for your for your understanding like first proviso is that you may be aware that first proviso means that the proviso uh, is basically the exception or the opposite opposite uh, point of view of the uh, previous section because it is uh, it is saying that uh, when you prepare your books of account and financial statement and other other relevant books and paper then all three points must be kept at your registered office but this point is saying that uh, all or any part of your orbp or boa may be kept at such other place in india that means which is not a registered office so that is why they are saying that if bod may decide and such a decision is taken then within 7 days uh you the company shall uh, prepare and, and file the notice to the roc in form number aoc 5 and aoc 5 is mentioned in rule number 2a of companies accounts rule 2014 so this is basically the short notes which i have prepared for myself right and second you know understand why this is a proviso proviso is basically the opposite wording opposite opposite uh, proviso speaks opposite to the previous section because subsection 1 is saying that uh, keep at uh, keep uh, whatever you are preparing that may be boa or orbp or fs at your registered office but this is saying uh, pre- uh, keep at uh, other office but that may be in india that must be in india so this is a opposite wording i ho- hope so you are getting my point what is the meaning of proviso now second proviso second point is also a proviso why because first first point is saying that you keep at you must keep at your uh, at registered office but uh, second point is saying that you may keep uh, keep in electronic mode because so that so it can be derived that uh, first point is saying that uh, please keep at in physical mode in physical mode but you are saying that you may keep in electronic mode so that is why this is the proviso because this is saying in opposite direction right of the previous section or the previous subsection so what is going to be the manner so manner is going to be uh, go, has been prescribed in basically rule number 3 of companies accounts rule 2014 so this is basically the explanation and the clear explanation and analysis which you need to do while you are study now we have also discussed in detail that what is boa like money received and expended right sales purchase and of goods and services assets and liability detail item of cost right so this is all about books of account you can read right so and now what does it what do you mean by financial statement so financial statement the word is only reserved with the company if you are speaking about the financial statement of the partnership firm then it's not been uh, a basically pre- reserved for the fa- company so that is why it is saying financial statement if i am saying that i am preparing balance sheet and i am preparing profit and loss account so it's not as per the first of all it's not as per the companies act 2013 or it's not as per the 
financial statement so it is not to be considered as a financial statement because financial statement is only with respect to company so that is the uh, basically the point which is i am discussing that balance sheet a profit and loss account right cash flow statement other statement of change in equity like proviso now now here is also a proviso so i have also discussed with you i have already discussed with you what is the meaning of proviso so proviso means basically a uh, opposite opposite wording or opposite uh, opposite uh, uh, basically the point of the previous point so this is saying so first of all it it was saying that a financial statement must include cash flow statement as well now it is saying financial statement may not include financial statement may not include so that is why it is a proviso in respect of opc so for which company based specifically for the company who is a opc or small company or dormant company or startup private company so these kind of categories of company may not have cash flow statement in the um, uh, financial statement and it is saying may not it may not include it's not meaning of this proviso that companies act 2013 is uh, basically giving you the option for the specified companies it's not mandatorily uh, exempting you but yeah you have the option so this is the basically interpretation which is i am talking to you so please interpret the law because law is all about interpretation and yeah after suppose i have a, so this was all of you all for you just for your reference right so section which is i which i have discussed with you that is of a uh, 128 and particularly i have discussed with you subsection 1 so it was not relevant for you uh, if you are watching uh, if you are uh, appearing for uh, paper number law 6 uh, that is law and ethics but if you are uh, if you are basically appearing for a final examination of a corporate law and compliance then it is relevant for you but the but the objective of this uh, video is not uh, uh, not explaining you this section but to explain um, to the people who ha who have Uh, who are seeking for the approach of uh, studying the uh, corporate law and compliance that is a uh, paper number 13 now uh, so first of all you have to make short notes for uh, which is uh, which is going to be helpful for you for uh, day before exam because all of us know we uh, we all all of us we know very well that uh, uh, thousand of thousand pages of book or the 500 pages of notebook is not going to be revised by the student uh, who is going to appear in the examination before the day of examination but yeah uh, maximum of 200 or 300 whatever it may be the 500 also for a final examination pages of uh, your short notes but short note is going to be your uh, handwritten notes and it will make the uh, big role while uh, scoring the good marks for every candidate now uh, i am saying you that uh, prepare uh, the prepare basically the notebook yeah before uh, second point uh, before b point b number point b i should discuss with you that prepare two notebook uh, for law specifically the first one is uh, for uh, writing down or for making the notes which i have discussed with you uh, right so prepare the notebook uh, which will which will contain only only and only provisions rules and whatever study content is there and second notebook should be only which consist of only questions whether it may be case study based whether it may be simple question whether it may be study short note question or whatever categories of question are there then that must only be in the uh, one notebook so likewise you must have a two notebook and every uh, along with every section you must have a reference of the uh, question number right or, or the page number of the uh, question number on on or the page number uh, which you need to consider after st after studying your provision so prepare two notebook and the first point was that the prepare short notes right and now do every try to do uh, practical question or the case study based question uh, after completion of your uh, section suppose i have completed section number 128 sub section 1 <clears throat> sorry so after that you must uh, do the one question basically basically when you uh, when you attempt the question in writing by your hand on your paper book uh, paper uh, paper by taking your paper and pen then just your your hand is going to be working 
right in in short you are capable of presenting your uh, whatever you have learned on a piece of paper so that is very important so do practical or question uh, question right section wise or it can be a chapter wise suppose i have completed the section number 128 so to 138 then uh, i can also do question after completing a particular chapter that is chapter number 9 right which is uh, which is having uh, section 128 to 138 so it's your choice uh, that uh, do question uh, after attempting after studying every uh, section because yeah it is it may be the very difficult task for the person specifically who has not taken any kind of coaching because he will know, he or she will not have any kind of uh, specific question after after a just after a specific provision so uh, so that candidate must uh, do uh, questions only after completion of particular chapter of the law suppose he or she is studying board of directors chapter which contains uh, 148 to 172 right then after that board meeting and powers like section 173 to uh, 195 uh, or 6 whatever it may be right so these kind of uh, <coughs> approaches you can uh, opt if right and now the last point revise and remember daily uh, whatever you have learnt, uh, whatever you have uh, studied before uh, today. Suppose you have, uh, you have yes yesterday you have studied section number one twenty eight or section whatever it may be section. Suppose you have studied your uh, like audit and auditor chapter, right? So when you are starting new chapter today, then revise uh, revise a previous chapter and revise daily uh, whatever you study. Like suppose you are uh, allotting three hours for a particular subject, then you must do only 2.5 hours of study and 0.5 hours you must dedicate to the revision of entire uh, study what you have done. So this is it for uh, the approach, right? So this approach is going to be helpful for you guys, right? So I have discussed also the pattern of the examination paper. Now, if you want to want uh, to know detailed, uh, basically the paper uh, question paper, then you can download it from the uh, link given in the description box. That which type of question, which uh, how much uh, marks of uh, marks of uh, question came from particular chapter, right? Uh, and which uh, which which chapter has come uh, in maximum of marks. So you all uh, these kind of question can be answered by by uh, checking the answer sheet or the answer uh, whatever it may be the certified photocopy of answer script. So thank you friends for watching the complete video. Yeah, the, you can get the PDF of uh, at anywhere. But the motive of this uh, video is not only to give you the PDF but to only provide you the approach as per my opinion and as per my experience. So if you if you find helpful uh, the approach which I have discussed with you in this video, then please uh, like the video and like the uh, like video for every watch. Suppose one person is watching the video and just and then immediately he or she should uh, like the video and comment also. Right? If you comment, then it will appreciate me. Right? So please subscribe my YouTube channel and share it with your friends so that. Uh, all can get uh, notifications related to this channel and I'll also upload uh, many papers like inter, inter examination paper CMA intermediate which has happened in December 2021 itself and remaining papers of final I will also upload but uh, as and when I will get and I will upload them so thank you for completing the uh, com watch the complete video that's all for this video